ever wondered who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for 2023 and why? Let's embark on a journey of discovery, starting with the laureates. The prestigious accolade was awarded to Mungi G. Bawendi, Louis E. Bruce, and Alexei Tsuisikimov. These brilliant minds made pioneering strides in the field of quantum dots. Ekimov kicked off the journey in the early 80s, discovering size-dependent quantum effects in colored glass. Around the same time, Bruce delved into the world of freely floating particles in a solution, finding their optical properties changed when they were shrunk down. But it was Bowendy who brought consistency and precision to the production of quantum dots in 1993. These tiny particles, just a few nanometers in size, exhibit quantum mechanical effects and have revolutionized various fields of science and technology. So these are the geniuses who have brought quantum dots into our lives. But what exactly are quantum dots? The story of quantum dots begins with a curious observation in colored glass. In the early 80s, physicist Alexei Ekimov was studying colored glass when he noticed something fascinating. The size of copper chloride crystals formed within the glass influenced its color, a phenomenon he realized was rooted in the mysterious world of quantum mechanics. Around this same period, another scientist, Louis Bruce, was making a similar discovery. He found that when particles of cadmium sulfide were made very small, their optical properties underwent an intriguing shift. Their light absorption moved towards the blue end of the spectrum, indicating a change in their behavior. Both Ekimov and Bruce had stumbled upon a size-dependent quantum effect, a doorway into a new realm of scientific discovery. But the journey of quantum dots had just begun. They were about to get a major upgrade. Enter Mungi Bawendi, the scientist who made quantum dots more than just a scientific curiosity. In the early 90s, Bowendy took on the challenge of these unpredictable particles. He developed a method that allowed for the production of nearly perfect quantum dots, with precise control over their size and surface characteristics. This was an absolute game-changer. Before Bowendy, quantum dots were like wild horses, full of potential, but untamed. After Bowendy, they were more like thoroughbreds, ready for the race. His method made it possible to produce quantum dots consistently, with the desired qualities and without the previous variations in size and quality. This breakthrough made quantum dots practical for various applications. From the vibrant colors of LED lights to the detailed imaging in medicine, the impact of Bowendy's work is profound. His method of producing quantum dots opened up new avenues for science and technology. With Bowendy's breakthrough, quantum dots started to shine quite literally in various fields. Quantum dots have since been lighting up our lives quite literally and in ways you might not even realize. These tiny particles have found their way into LED lights, making them more energy efficient and vibrant. You'll find them too in your QLED TV, where they modify the light emitted by blue diodes to create the three primary colors needed for displays. But their influence doesn't stop at technology. In biochemistry and medicine, quantum dots serve as fluorescent imaging tools, mapping cells and organs and tracking tumor tissue. As for the future, the potential of quantum dots seems limitless. Picture flexible electronics with bendable screens and wearable devices, smaller sensors, slimmer solar cells, and even encrypted quantum communication. All of these could be revolutionized by these tiny particles. In conclusion, the story of quantum dots is a testament to the immense power and potential of nanotechnology. And it's only just begun. So the next time you marvel at the vibrant colors of your QLED TV, remember, it's all thanks to these tiny particles.